Last week I posted a video on milling the big base section of that giant pine tree that we cut down a few weeks ago. And one of the comments on that video uh, pointed out how much lumber that I wasted in the slabs that I cut off because I cut off such thick slabs. Now my philosophy on milling uh, for the longest time, for the limited amount of time that I've been milling, is to go ahead and get your slabs off so that you can get down to the usable lumber inside of the tree. And to me that saves the blade because all of the dirt and junk that's going to mess up your blade is going to be harbored in your bark. And the fewer bark cuts that you can make, the quicker you can go ahead and get down to cuts that don't have any bark on them, the better off your blade is going to be. Uh, another thing is time savings. Do you really want to sit there and shave off little small sections of the slab of the outside of the tree uh, just so you can save two or three boards? But nonetheless, that comment got me thinking and wondering how much lumber is actually in these slabs. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a square and a measuring tape and a pencil and we're going to mark off and see how much, uh, how much lumber we think is in these slabs. Then we're going to put them on the mill and see how much we can actually get out of them and see how much waste is actually in these big slabs that we cut off. So we've got here the smallest end of these slabs and what we're going to do, we'll just go ahead and measure these and see exactly what the total width or the total dimension is of these slabs and then we'll go ahead and mark them off and see what we've got. This one right here, the thickest portion is going to measure about two inches and that's just the thickest part. So I can't imagine that we could get uh, a two by six or maybe even a two by four out of that, I wouldn't think, but uh, what we may can get a true two by four out of that. So for this one, maybe we'll attempt to get a two by four out of it. Uh, so let's go ahead and mark off go ahead and mark off two inches up here and honestly this is I have not done this a whole lot and I'm sure I'll have somebody comment and tell me that I'm doing it wrong but we'll go ahead and do it uh, just for the heck of it and see see how it turns out so that's our two inch mark right there let's get our straight edge and see if we can draw a line between those two marks there we go now let's see if we can find our two inch center and measure out to four. Let's see if we can get a two by four out of it. Now these marks are probably gonna end up being essentially meaningless because we'll let the mill and dimensions that are on it do the job for us. So there's a two by four. Looks like we could get one two by four or maybe a couple of one by fours out of that if we wanted, but we Certainly couldn't get a two by six out of it or any, any kind of a two by six that would be decent. This one on the other hand, I feel like maybe we can get a two by six out of it. Let's see, um, let's see what we got here. <clears throat> so this one is gonna be about two and three quarter inches, two and three quarter inches wide. But let's go ahead, let's go ahead and mark it at, I'll tell you what, let's check the, let's go ahead and mark off the one inch mark down here. That's going to be our one inch mark. We'll see how much we can measure up from there. That's a little less than two inches. We may could get like a, like a store bought two by four, maybe a one and a half by three and a half out of that. I'm not sure, but I'd like to try to get a, I try, I'd like to try to get a one by out of that. So let's go ahead and mark off our one inch all the way across here. I probably should go back to that comment actually and see exactly what he said I could get out of these to see because he had very specific numbers on on what he told me whether they were right or wrong I don't know but it seemed like he knew what he was talking about all right so up from that part what do we have we've got we've got about two inches on that so let's I think we've got enough that we can call this like a, let's go ahead and call this a store-bought, a store-bought two by six. So let's measure up an inch and a half and get this to work. Let's do this instead. Let's measure up an inch and a half. So we're going to hit it right there. Measure up inch and a half. There we go. Go ahead and mark that off and do our three inch mark about in the center. 
and since we're going to do a store-bought two by six we'll do it at five and a half so we'll put five and a half over here in that mark there so there you go so it looks like there's a good long or good wide one by four in there and also probably a good store-bought two by six in there so store-bought dimension two by six in there and this one is kind of puny and it's not real even all the way across so I'm not sure how much we could get out of that but we're gonna try as if you're wondering why you don't see the fourth piece of the fourth slab off of this tree it's because it was it was kind of pitiful looking and I'm not real sure how much we could get out of that so let's um let's measure it first So we could get either a um, either a two by six out of that or a couple of one bys out of that. I'm going to try to get a couple of one bys out of that because it kind of dips in the middle. It kind of dips in the middle, and I'm not real sure exactly how much how much we can get out of that. It's not not a real even slab all the way across. Pine tar makes for some. My pencil's pretty dull too. That's probably my problem. All right, let's go ahead and mark this across. All right, so there's a one by right there, and there's one right there. It's a very small one. I don't think this one's going to come to anything because of this board is uh, real thin in the middle, and I just don't think it's going to do much. So uh, what we've got right here, we've got a good solid true two by four, a very nice one by four a store-bought dimension uh, two by six and a nice one by four right here now let's go ahead and put these on the mill and see what we can get out of them oh, I'll tell you what oh, things I do for YouTube goodness I have to get a hydraulic mill Alright, see if we can get out of this one.
This would be a great time for y'all to hit that like button.
So I had to move this operation to the shade. It has gotten hot in Georgia and in a hurry. Um, but anyhow, this is what we ended up with, guys. This is a, this is two inches thick, three and a half inches wide, and about four and a half usable feet, something like that. This one is a true two by four, which is nine feet long. This one is uh, about an inch and a half, a little under. I think I measured it as five quarter just for um, just for this purpose, but it's that's a pretty nice board right there actually. This is our true, uh, not true, but store bought two by six. It's an inch and a half thick and five inches wide. I'm sorry, five and a half inches wide. And that's a pretty decent board for the most part. Depending on your application, you may, may have to cut this much of it off. But for these purposes, I just measured the whole thing. And this next one is probably the nicest one. This one is, <laughs> it depends on where you measure it. The slab must have been warped, I'm not sure. But it's either a little over three quarters of an inch thick or almost a half of an inch thick. Somewhere between 13 sixteenths and 7 eighths. Or um, not 7, 15 sixteenths. I'm not sure. But this is nine inches wide and nine feet long. That's a that's actually a really nice board. Once it dries, uh, we can put it on the planer and it'll it'll look pretty nice. But in comparison, here is our our waste pile over here. And let's get a little closer look at that. This is our waste pile, and honestly, I don't think anybody can get anything else except for toothpicks out of the rest of this. There's that. There's that. And y'all saw me throwing some of the stuff in my trash pile. I actually salvaged some of it just so I could show you. But anyhow, maybe somebody could dig something out of that. I'm not sure. Um, there's probably, well, I don't know. There's not a one buy out of that. That's junk. And I mean, this is just a bunch of garbage. And so I don't, I don't think we could have done any better than that, guys. So I guess the question that we're trying to answer from this video and cutting these slabs is, is it worth it to resaw these slabs? And I think uh, for somebody like me with a manual mill, I would say no. Now, uh, to, to, to clarify, if I were to, when I first got the tree onto the mill, if I were just to cut small slabs off and do it that way, it would probably be worth it because it wouldn't be nearly as tough on my back. Um, but as far as cutting thick slabs off and then putting them back on the mill, it's definitely not worth it because that is a lot of work. It takes a lot of time, and I just I'm, I don't I don't know. I don't think it would be worth it. Now we get we did get 26 extra board feet out of this tree in addition to the 111 that we already had. That brings it up to 137 board feet total. But um, I mean, honest to goodness, resawing slabs is is hard work. Now even <laughs> As far as I'm concerned, even cutting small slabs off of the tree so it's not so hard on my back would be difficult, not difficult, but I think it would be tough on the blade. So for me, I think I'm just going to keep doing what I'm already doing. It's fast, I like to do it, and it works fine for me. Now that said, if somebody had a hydraulic mill, and I'd love to have to uh, hear an opinion from somebody with a hydraulic mill, um, maybe North Northwest Sawyer could chime in with his opinion if you hadn't seen his channel go over and look at his channel he's got a lot of really good content on his channel with his LT35 hydraulic um, but anyhow I'd love to hear somebody with a hydraulic mill chime in because those mills make it a lot easier to move these slabs around so if you have a hydraulic mill it may be worth it but for a manual mill doing it this way I don't think it's worth it but anyhow give this video a thumbs up and cricket says goodbye and I'll see you next time